would seem the peaceful days of tending my garden will have to wait. While I take care of these matters, the rest of you cannot. Please, Master Zick. This is not something you should trouble yourself with. It's beneath you. Oh, now, don't be concerned. It'll be good to stretch these old bones.
master. I tested the blue one, and he's more powerful than I anticipated. He shows much potential. Who cares about him? Now that I'm free, I want to squeeze Eggman till he pops! And eat him, I suppose. Uh, well, yeah. There are better ways to make him suffer. Uh, but more delicious? What would you say if I told you we could destroy Eggman's world and use its energy to make ourselves unbelievably powerful? Well, I would say that I had taught you well. Yes, you have. And it will be Eggman's own creation that causes his destruction. <laughs>
It's like something in the sky is draining the life out of the world. Plants, animals, even the air feels cold and dead. Okay, you guys stay safe down there. I'll try to figure out what's going on and stop it. Your time is almost over, Rash Hedgehog. I shall prepare for you a lesson in respect. A painful lesson. Oh, someone's gonna get taken to school, all right. Follow, if you dare. Respected your elder, arrogant stripling. Now you shall reap what you have sown.
once more. I feel like I'm a hundred years old again. Perhaps when I'm finished, I'll go clubbing. Your lesson begins now. A mutual problem. One so large that it will take both of us to overcome. Whatever. I told you, we can handle the Zeddy by ourselves. That may be true, but the rebellious swine have gotten hold of a device of mine, and they're using it in ways for which it was never designed. Uh, what was it designed for, Doctor? <clears throat> it was supposed to extract energy from our world, but the machine is unstable. Once it reaches full power, it can't be shut off. It will drain our world dry. Oh, so that's what Amy was talking about. And you just want to go smash it, don't you? <laughs> well, yeah. <sighs> what? It's what I do. Oh, always your answer to everything, Hedgehog. If you wish to create a cataclysmic explosion that will incinerate everything within a hundred miles, please smash away. So there's no off switch? No, not anymore. I need to get to the machine and reprogram the shutdown sequence. I'll supply the brains. You will supply the brawn I need to get past the Zeti. Oh, and you're asking so nicely. <laughs> Good one, buddy. <laughs> Thanks. Man up, Tails. I don't like working with my most hated enemies any more than you do. But our entire world is at stake. Yeah, well, teaming up with you feels like the end of the world, Eggman. I don't want to take a long shower by the time we're done.
Whoa, overcompensate much? Man, how many military factories does a guy need? If you weren't always destroying them, I wouldn't need so many. And done! Duh! Thanks for fixing me! No problem. Sorry you got stuck with a voice chip that looks like it was built by a two-year-old. I think I liked it better when I was trying to destroy you. Yeah, well, feelings mutual, Eggface. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Before we start destroying each other, let's remember why we're working together. Okay, please remind me. Tails, we need Eggman to shut down his machine. And you don't trust me to do it. What? No! I trust you, Tails. It's just that... No, you don't. You trust Eggman more. Do you know how much that bites? I do trust you, Tails, but the whole world's in danger because I did something stupid. Do you know how much that bites? Actually, nothing bites more than having to listen to this dreadful conversation. Eggman, Eggman you, you bite! bite!